Hey, what's up, y'all? I am back with a DIY, this time in my bathroom. And as you can see, I have my bath drawn. The ambiance is right. And what are we making? This bath table, yes, it's a DIY, and I'm gonna show you how, so come on. So first of all, you wanna measure the distance across your bathtub. This, this is where the table is going to sit. Also go ahead and take some measurements um, about an inch down just to make sure you have clearance. And then I'm just gauging how wide my table is gonna be. So I purchased this wood from Home Depot. It is one by 12, okay? Now the length is based on your measurements. So I cut my own wood, but you wanna make sure you take those measurements over to Home Depot if you need them to cut it, and they will cut it to length for you. I also purchased a one inch dowel, which I cut into two 10 inch pieces. This will fit right on the inside of your bathtub to keep the table in place. So to get the measurements for these, lay the cut board across your bathtub, place the dowel underneath, and with a pencil, go ahead and trace around the dowel, making sure that the dowel is pressed flat against your bathtub. Now use a straight edge to make sure that your lines are straight, like so, and then apply glue and put the dowel in place. And let it dry. And repeat these steps on both sides. So this step is optional, but I'm gonna make sure that the dowel is secure. Um, so I'm drilling a hole, making sure it doesn't come through the top of the table. And then I'm following it up with a screw on both sides there. And also I'm covering any imperfections with wood filler. Once it's all dry, go ahead and sand it until it's smooth. And also sand the edges because no one likes splinters. So I wanna make sure that's all smooth. So now for the mirror. I purchased this mirror at Target for I think $4.98. And it's really fragile so you wanna make sure you're careful with this. Um, so flip the mirror over and you're gonna tear off as much paper as you can. You're not gonna get it all off, so don't worry about what's left behind. So I'm taking my utility knife and I am cutting through the glue that holds the mirror into the frame. This is a tough job. You're gonna have to use some elbow grease. But once you get through it, the mirror just separates like so. So go ahead and lay the table flat up against the mirror and then you're gonna just trace this table shape I'm using a crayon because you need something that stands out and will also write on the mirror. So once you get that shape traced, go ahead and use a glass cutter to score the mirror and break it. Now you can find this tool at Hobby Lobby Michaels, someplace like that. And it just puts a nice line there that will break apart easily. Now for this long piece, I was afraid that I would do it wrong so I did sh shorter pieces at a time. And like I told you, this glass is so fragile as you, as you will see in just a moment. So I had to, I wanted to sand to make sure the edges are smooth, but there you go. Take two. This time I realized that I needed to have the mirror on a flat surface before I sand it. Now I'm rounding the edges out just to make sure that they're smooth and I won't get cut. So guys, if you're gonna work with cutting glass, make sure you wear your protective eye gear and your face mask. I know I could have taken this to a professional, but I love doing DIY, so I wanted to show this on my channel. Now back to the table. I'm gonna prime and get it ready for painting. So I wanted to use items that I already had, so I found this Ralph Lauren paint. It's gold, and I found this in my closet. I can see why I didn't use it. I really didn't like the color or the way it turned out. So I tried to antique it by using this black paint, and honestly, I didn't like it. So I found this paint in my closet as well, and I guess three's a charm because this one works. I really love the metallic look of this and the reflection it gives. So I give it two thumbs up. What do you guys think? All right, so once I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and seal it. And this is the sealer I use. Now to get the glass or the mirror onto the board, I'm taking Gorilla Glue and I'm pouring this all in the middle of the wood. And I'm using the E6000 for the outside of the glass just because it's clear and I didn't want to chance the Gorilla Glue not drying clear. All right, and I go ahead and place this on. 
Then I want to clean up any glue around the edge. And there you have it. I tried to clean it, sorry about the streaks. But yeah, now it's time for bath. The bath, the bath time. <laughs> Anyway, this project was really fun to do. I say that about all my projects, but I truly have a lot of fun doing my DIY. The book that I have there is titled A Hot Glue Gun Mess, and it's written by Mr. Kate. She has a YouTube channel here on YouTube. So check her out. She's awesome. One of my favorite YouTubers. But yeah, that's all I have, guys. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. And if you decide to try something like this, please link me on Instagram, tag me on Instagram so I can check it out. All right, so I'm gonna let you guys go with a parting message from my daughters. Until next time, take care.